Hi guys, this is Mrs. Keen. I'm going to read you a story. I hope you enjoy it and I'm so excited to see you guys soon. The story is called, Twas the Night Before Preschool. Twas the night before preschool and alarm clocks were set. All the children were cuddling their favorite plush pet. Monkeys and lions and soft bunnies, too, would be going to school like big boys and girls do. Parents set out clothes and clean underwear. Hoodies were hung by the front door with care. The children then nestled all warm in their beds while visions of playtime danced in their heads. But one little boy was still wide awake. He worried about preschool and the friends that he'd make. His tummy hurt, yet he didn't know why. He hid behind Mommy. He was feeling quite shy. Hi there, Billy, said Justin. He greeted each child by name. Gather round and we'll start with a fun clapping game. Kids sang songs and danced dances. They loved circle time. Then everyone listened to stories and a mother goose rhyme. They dressed up in clothes from the big costume box. Look, I'm a pirate and I'm Goldilocks. But Billy just watched other kids as they played. In the corner by himself was right where he stayed. Right there. He's looking a little nervous, a little shy. Maybe he'll come out later and play with them. Let's see. All the other kids are having fun. They're playing games together. Let's see if Billy comes out. He drew a dinosaur as tall as a tree. He showed it to Justin. That's great. Is it for me? <gasps> Look, he's got a smile on his face. Yay. Look at that awesome dinosaur he made. Then the children picked up their crayons and toys and took a trip to the bathroom. One for boys, one for girls. Let's take a break for snacks, said Justin. Billy pushed his aside. Then off the class march for playtime outside. There were tricycles to ride in a big loop-de-loop, -loop, a garden to tend, and sand piles to scoop. After hanging up jackets and wiping off shoes, they gathered their buddies for a quiet time snooze. The kids lay on their mats. Soon there wasn't a peep. All were quiet except Billy, who could not fall asleep. Uh-oh. I wonder why he can't sleep. Let's see. I wonder why. I can't take a nap without my teddy Jerome, but he's not here, said Billy. I left him at home. Uh-oh. When what do his watering eyes should appear but a soft fuzzy rabbit with a bow on his ear? It's okay, a little girl said. Here, take my bunny. Oh, my goodness. That is such a good friend. She's sharing, but she has two, so she's going to share one. What a nice friend. And suddenly, Billy's tummy stopped feeling so funny. Thank you, whispered Billy, snuggling up for a nap. And just like that, shh, he was asleep in a snap. After nap time was over, he played with Charlene. I'll be the blue ring, said Billy, and I'll be the green. Then, what out in, then out in the hallway there arose such a clatter. The kids sprang to the door to see what was the matter. <gasps> oh, I wonder what's out there. What's going on out there, guys? What do you think? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Parents rushed in, wanting hugs and kisses. Billy's mom brought Jerome and asked, did you miss us? There he goes. There's his teddy bear. See you tomorrow, said Justin. Wow, the first day was done. I'll be back, Billy said. Preschool is fun. 
Well, I hope preschool will be fun for you guys too. I'm so excited to see you. So listen to the story. Think about what is making you excited, what's making you nervous. Okay, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I love you. That's what this, this means. I love you.